I was today actually. It's funny you say this. I was I was in a workshop today with um, guys, a business analyst, and they're trained to draw information out of people. And he, the thing you said, the exact question you asked earlier as an example, which was what is the impact if we do this. He asked me that two or three different times in different ways as we're having this conversation and it was it was really good because you always have this risk of what you call assumed knowledge where you work somewhere or you work in a type of work or in a business or like me both for ages and certain things become second nature that aren't second nature to people who aren't in the bubble so to speak and he was really good at getting me to explain it out without me necessarily realizing that's what I was doing and it was it's it's a real like you said it's a real skill to be able to to draw information from people um and it just it struck me when you said that question I was like ah oh, I've been asked that today um and you can see it in the work a person does because they're brilliant at, at getting you know understanding what people or businesses need or want and getting out the information and being able to digest that and actually play that back to you or play it back to other people and I think it's a really it's a core skill and I think it ties in with this and not making assumptions is why they have that that question kind of asking mentality drilled into them um you also said a bit earlier um about it's easy when you're with someone who thinks like you do but it's more difficult when it's it's not and i became very consciously aware of this years ago where i think i would struggle with people who didn't think the same way that i'm, I'm much more cognizant that it's okay to disagree in that it's okay for me to not agree with what someone else says and it's okay for them to not agree with what I say and in fact I so much so that I find myself now sometimes almost subtly reassuring them that it's it's okay you know disagreeing isn't a bad end to that that thing it's good to have different viewpoints and good for striving for different things and I think the first thing you have to do is accept not everyone is going to agree with you and then that you're not going to agree with everyone else, but that's not a problem. Because I like to yeah. think with my views, I've been right a lot of the time, but I've also been wrong a lot of the time. And this thing I'm disagreeing mm. on could be one of those things, who knows? But it's, mm. you know, unless unless it impacts what you're doing, it's not a problem for that disagreement, so to speak. And even then, someone else's point of view might just give you a bit more awareness of a risk or a concern or something else to look at. And it might not steer you in a different direction, but it just adds to your consciousness and your kind of I suppose full picture of whatever it is that you're looking at so that like you said Joe how it works with different viewpoints different opinions and going away with different opinions is good it's all one big experiment and you know you're right until you're wrong or you're wrong until you're right it doesn't matter which way around you look at it really but you know you're only right about what you're saying for as long as you are right and it's important not to necessarily die on every hill just because it's your viewpoint. Uh -huh.